Oracle Fusion Cloud is one of the few ERP softwares that comes loaded with hundreds of powerful ready-to-use APIs that make integrating with third-party applications seamless. But do you really know what an API is? How to use it? What is the best way to access Oracle delivered APIs? Have you ever tried invoking an Oracle Fusion Cloud API? If you answered no to any one of these questions, I highly recommend watching this video to gain a deeper understanding of APIs even if you are not from technical background. I am Siva Khoya, an Oracle Ace and Certified Oracle Fusion Cloud Application Integration Professional. If you are ready, let's get started. Here is how I organized this video. First, I will break down what APIs are in simple terms followed by a few real world examples. Then I will show you the best way to find and access available APIs before diving into a hands-on demo. Alright, let's start with the big question. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It allows two applications to talk to each other programmatically and exchange messages. Imagine there is an application that tracks stock prices of publicly listed companies and provides the latest stock price through an API. Another application that needs this information just sends the stock ticker as input and the API instantly returns the current stock price of the company. Let's look at another example in an ERP setting. Suppose in your company, suppliers are created and managed in non-fusion ERP application like ServiceNow, while Oracle Fusion is used for purchasing. In this scenario, you need to replicate suppliers in Oracle Fusion Cloud in real time. Instead of manual entry of supplier information in Oracle Fusion, ServiceNow can programmatically automate the supplier creation process in Oracle Fusion by calling the Oracle Fusion Cloud API called Create Supplier. In just a moment, I will be doing a hands-on demo to replicate this entire functionality. To locate Oracle Fusion out-of-the-box APIs, start by navigating to docs.oracle.com. Under Cloud Applications, you will find Fusion Application Suite where you can select the product you need APIs for. For example, if you are looking for procurement APIs, you will not see on this page. I will click on See All. Under ERP, you can see Procurement Module. I will select it. On this page, you can see a separate section for APIs and Schema. I will go ahead and select it. Since REST APIs are most commonly used, let's select REST API for Oracle Procurement Cloud. Here, you will find a list of tasks that can be performed using REST APIs. As you can see, these tasks are organized by business objects. Let's say I'm looking for supplier's business object. These objects are sorted by alphabetical order. So I'll scroll all the way to the bottom to find supplier's business object. All the way at the bottom, we can see supplier's business object. If I expand it, you can see list of tasks you can perform using REST APIs. Let's say I want to create a new supplier. I'll select this link. If third party application need to create a supplier, they need to call this relative URI and they need to use HTTP method post. And these are the data elements that they can pass to create a supplier. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, here you can see a sample request message and the expected response from Oracle Fusion Cloud after supplier is successfully created. Now that you understand what an API is, and way to find Oracle Fusion Cloud's out-of-the-box APIs, let's put that knowledge into practice by testing an API using Postman, a free and popular tool. In this hands-on demo, I will walk you through the process of creating a supplier in Oracle Fusion Cloud using a REST API. If you want to follow along with me, make sure these three items are ready. First, you need to have access to Oracle Fusion Cloud instance. As you can see, I already have access to Oracle Fusion Cloud instance. If you don't have one, I have created a separate video showing how to get access to Oracle Fusion Cloud instance. 
I will make sure to include a link to that video in the description below. Second, I have kept create supplier API documentation ready and will use it when time comes. The third and final step, install Postman on your computer. I have already installed it and I am ready to start the hands-on demo. Let's now simulate the process of creating a new supplier in Oracle Fusion Cloud using the out-of-the-box REST API. In order to create a new API request in Postman, I will select new button. I will select HTTP. Let me jump back to the API documentation. I see the HTTP method required is post. We will use it in our request. Switch to post. Now I will grab relative URI from our API documentation and paste it in our request. As you might have guessed, this isn't the full URL. To complete it, we need the host name of our Fusion instance. I will copy it from my instance and paste it here. I will remove the backslash. Now I will switch back to my API documentation. Scroll all the way down. I will copy the sample request body. I will use this sample data to create the supplier. I will select body, raw and paste the sample data here. Make sure the format is JSON. I will modify this data slightly to ensure our supplier is unique. The supplier data looks unique to me. So I will hit send button to submit it to Oracle Fusion Cloud. As you can see, Oracle Fusion rejected our request saying we don't have permission to interact with Oracle Fusion API. Let me try by linking my API request to a valid Oracle Fusion user and see if it gets accepted. In order to do this, I will navigate to authorization section and select basic authentication. I will provide a valid Oracle Fusion user and password. Okay, I have added a valid Fusion user and password and I confirmed it by logging into Fusion instance. Let's try again. This time the request failed with a different error. This message means while the user is authenticated, they don't have the necessary authorization to create a supplier. Now I'll switch back to my Fusion instance. As you can see, there are no roles assigned to this user. Now let me go ahead and add a supplier manager role to this user so that he will have the necessary privileges to interact with supplier REST API. I have completed adding the necessary role to our user. Let's give it one last try. There we go. This time supplier was successfully created in Oracle Fusion Cloud and we can even see the supplier number. I have confirmed that the supplier exists in my Fusion instance. This concludes our demo, which proves that Oracle Fusion not only authenticates requests, but also ensures users have the necessary authorization to execute specific REST APIs. That wraps up today's episode. I hope you found something valuable today. If you did, don't forget to show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing as more interesting videos are on the way.